when was the last time that you modified a knife? How's it going, everybody? I'm Rochambeau, the connoisseur and collector of all things sharp and shiny. And even if you haven't modified a knife before, go on down to the comment section below. Let me know what your experience has been so far. Today, we're talking about this guy. This is the Spider Coast Mock, and yes, I've already reviewed it. I've done a regular review it. If that's what you want to see, a review on the stock one without any modifications, I'll place a link up above. However, I felt like it was important to bring this back out again because as you might notice, this one has some modifications. Got some new scales. Got a new pocket clip. We're going to talk about it today. Does it change the knife? Does it make it better? Let's find out. This is the Smock Knives Spider Co. Smock. Let's check it out. So this video has been a long time in the making. I'll give you an example. I purchased this Spider Co. Smock last July. That's July 2022. Prior to that, I'd been wanting one since 2021 and i waited an entire year to finally get my hands on one and i know what most of you are wanting to know and it breaks down into three questions first is what are those scales where did you get them and why purple if you want to know the answer to those questions make sure you hang on till the end because i will be giving out that information so that you too can go ahead and pick up an awesome set of scales for your spider coast smock and let me tell you it does make a big difference at least to me so the spider coast smock in and of itself is a great edc knife it's very fidget friendly but it's fidget friendly because it has good qualities like a decent detent deployment options that people like like the spidey hole and the flipper tab it's got a different blade shape than what we're used to seeing from spyderco but it wasn't all good it wasn't all good because it came with these handle scales now in and of itself, these handle scales, I mean, they're not bad. There's nothing wrong with them. You get the speed holes, they're nice and light, they keep the weight down, and they're carbon fiber, right? Wrong. I mean, the very top layer is basically a carbon fiber sticker, and no one does carbon fiber stickers like Spyderco, but it's still a sticker. And then the rest of it is G10. Personally, I would have preferred it had we just had G10 um, instead of this faux carbon fiber look if it's going to be carbon fiber make the whole handle scale carbon fiber um it's it's not that they're not durable um but it does make the knife feel cheap and so ever since i got this knife i wanted to put some different scales on it and of course if you've seen my other videos on spider codes you know that i also can't stand these stock spider co pocket clip because they're just they're hideous. They're not the most ergonomic things. They work, you know, they're a pocket clip, but I digress. So why have I waited until now to get more Spyderco scales or some aftermarket options on the scales? Really, it's because I couldn't decide. There's some really cool smock scale options out there whether you like carbon fiber or micarta or g10 or titanium or zirconium there's options galore but after my first couple experiences modifying spider co knives i found that i wanted to if i was going to spend the money i wanted to make the, the money well spent if i was going to spend the time i also wanted to make sure it was time well spent i didn't want to put scales on there that you could get just anywhere and so i spent a decent amount of time looking for those aftermarket options that weren't common and time and time again i found that the scales that i wanted were always sold out and out of stock and discontinued and it was discouraging it was so discouraging that i moved on to other knives and then something magical happened i found that kevin smock the designer of the spider co smock makes his own custom scales that's right he makes them here's the trick though 
even though he makes his own scales, he also drops them in a limited quantity and you never necessarily know when he's going to do a drop unless you're subscribed and followed to him on Instagram. So those of you knife nerds out there that are like, I just I don't want to do Instagram. Look, if you have a smock and you want to modify it, I'm telling you the smock scales really do a good job of completing the knife. And the best part is, is that they're not all the same design. He switches it up. Uh, I've seen models where just the engraving was anodized and the rest was a satin finish. I've seen different engraving patterns. It's really cool to see a bunch of limited runs of scales. He's done some that have similar engravings as this, but they're not the same. And I looked through his entire Instagram and I found that he just doesn't like doing the same thing more than once. But that means that if he releases some scales that you absolutely have to have, buy them because they will sell out either immediately or by the next day and then they'll be gone and you'll be waiting on the next drop and it could be months, it could be weeks, who knows? But it does create an opportunity for a collector or an enthusiast to get their hands on some scales. They're not going to be super prevalent out there, which means that the knife gets to be truly yours. It gets to be truly custom. I will go ahead and link his Instagram in the pinned comment down below. So if you're interested in seeing his current designs and if you want to follow him so that you can be notified when he comes out with new scales, you know, go ahead and give him a look. He comes out with some really cool stuff. And even if purple's not your color, he did blue, he did regular, he did a nuked version, which is basically the Anno with a stone washing. It's really, really cool. Uh, the other thing that I did to this knife was put on a titanium pocket clip. So the clip is a Pacific Suns titanium pocket clip. And no, it's not deep carry, but I'm okay with that. The fact that it's not deep carry means that it's going to be easy to pull out of the pocket because there's not a ton of tension on this clip. I mean, it's not going to be squirrely in your pocket, but it's easy to pull out and you can just grab that little nubbin because you have about this much that's going to be sticking out of your pocket. Not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. Uh, personally, I think that that Pacific Suns pocket clip really completes the aesthetic. I have a thing for titanium and I also have a thing for two tone color, I guess you could say, but it looks great. Now I've gotten aftermarket scales from other stores and other designers in the past, and it's just something that I enjoy. I enjoy it because it makes the knife different. It's almost like getting a completely new knife, but also keeping things that you liked about the old knife and it's personal. It's very personal. Modifying a knife is such a good idea because it makes it more your thing. And other people can look at it and enjoy it. And yeah, there is a little bit of bragging rights that goes on when someone says, hey, where'd you get those scales? And then you tell them and they can't buy them. I won't lie, as a collector, that's always something that's a little attractive. You want something that not everybody has. It's part of collecting unfortunately, but it also makes you feel good knowing that you bought something that you couldn't have just waited to get because if you waited, you would have never gotten a chance to get it. There were other smock scales out there that he released before this that I really wanted and I waited and I missed out and he's never come out with them ever again. So I'm telling you right now, if you like these scales or if you're interested in getting some scales from Kevin Smock, Follow him on Instagram so that you're notified the next time he does a scale drop. And he does these uh, semi-frequently, but you can definitely get in on them. The pocket clip is a nice aesthetic as well. It definitely matches, in my opinion, that two-tone silver and purple color scheme that's going on. And there's another modification that I did, and it's a very popular one for this knife. It's where you take out the second detent. The reason why the de second detent needs to go is because it was only there to arrest, to arrest the action so you couldn't shake it open because then authorities could call this a gravity knife. It's not actually there to help the action. It's not there to make it more fidget friendly or to make sure that when you go to flick it, it pops out with, you know, a second detent. 
And it's also not part of Kevin Smock's original design. The factory in Taichung, Taiwan did that on their own, unbidden. And they did that to make the knife more legal because at the time, gravity knives were still very, very illegal. If, you, if your knife could do that, you were in trouble with the law. And you don't want to be in trouble with the law. So yeah, I took out the second detent and the action feels great. In fact, it feels better than it did before. It kills me and it tickles me that the best button lock out there is not even a button lock at all. It's a compression lock. I still call this a button lock because you press this metal piece, the liner acts as the spring, and it releases the knife. It's a button lock, but it's a compression button lock. And this is the only knife that you can get from the factory like this. I know there are some modification companies that sell Spyderco paramilitary twos that have this, but those are just modified paramilitary twos. This is a production knife. Once you put modified scales and pocket clip, it stops becoming a production knife, but it starts becoming something way better. I absolutely love this knife. I loved it before. But now I love it even more. Now these scales are not cheap. Uh, these scales cost about $150. The pocket clip is going to be around 30, 35, maybe 40, depending upon when slash where you buy it. And taking out the detent, the second detent is totally free. So there is that. Uh, the knife automatically costs about $212 and I will link it in the pinned comment in the description down below. So if you do the math to get this knife this way, first you have to be following Kevin Smock so you can get in on one of his scale drops. It's 150 bucks. Second, you have to buy the pocket clip, which is another 30 to 40 bucks. Let's meet in the middle, call it 35 after shipping. Uh, so there you're at 185 bucks. And then you have to buy the knife itself, which is 212 bucks. So you do that and you're at 300, almost $400 for this knife. Now, is this a $400 knife? Is it worth that much money? Here's the best part. You modified it to achieve something. So yeah, it is. I can't go out and just buy this knife anywhere. I can get a smock with these regular cheap feeling handle scales, or I can have something that not a lot of people have. And that's great. This knife is officially much heavier than it was before. To give you an idea, we'll go ahead and weigh it. This is Jenny Craig, AKA the scale of truth. This knife was around three ounces. Now it's closer to five. It's about 4.7, 4.69. So for all of you out there that will not carry a knife that's over four ounces, yeah, this would be too heavy. For me, I'm a-okay with a knife in that weight range. It feels more solid. It feels more premium. It looks more premium. The acoustics sound better. The aftermarket pocket clip, in my opinion, not only increases ergonomics, but it also feels better in the pocket. It's not killing my jean pocket, which I like. And it's just a beautiful aesthetic. But guys, I'm curious to see what your thoughts are. Now that you know about the Kevin Smock custom scales and the titanium Pacific Suns pocket clip, would you consider modifying your knife like this? Is it too much money? Or have you already gone down that rabbit hole? Let me know in the comment section down below. Guys, if you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, boo-hoo, you know what to do. And if you want to see more content just like this, make sure you hit subscribe. I'm Roll Shambo. I'll catch you on the flip side.